My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and in today's Everyday Office, let's take a look at the picture placeholder and what we can do to customize it. So, you know, relatively simple here, if I have a PowerPoint presentation open and I go to insert at the top of my screen, I can insert a picture, and you know, maybe it's this one right here. Okay, so this is of course a rectangle, uh, but if I go ahead and go to the format tab at the top of my screen, on the crop drop down menu over on the far right hand side, besides your standard cropping, which of course is just rectangle, 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 we also have the ability to crop it to a particular shape. So this would be a very easy way for me to take uh, this rectangular picture and turn it into more of a teardrop shape or uh, turn it into an arrow or uh, possibly just round the corners off with a nice rounded corner rectangle. So let's do that, rounded corner rectangle. And as you can see here, it's the same picture, but now we've been able to place it into this rounded corner rectangle. And so we can do this on a repetitive basis for multiple different pictures, or we can work with the slide master to create a template that actually allows us to do the same thing to these pictures across the board. Let's take a look at how you would do that. First, you need to access the slide master, which is the template running behind the scenes of your PowerPoint presentation. You get there by going to the view tab at the top of the screen and clicking on slide master over here on the left hand side. So the slide master, when you get into this environment, has a couple of different elements. It has this top element, which is your slide master, sort of the controlling slide layout for all the different layouts across the board. But of course, in a PowerPoint presentation, you have some title slides as well as some content slides. And so underneath the slide master, we have specific slide layouts that take their cue from the slide master, but aren't exactly the same thing as the slide master. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a slide, a slide layout that uses a picture area to consistently have the same types of pictures show up in the same way. Now what I'll do is I'll take this existing content layout right here and I will duplicate that layout. You can simply do that by clicking directly onto the layout and using the keyboard shortcut Control D to duplicate that original layout. Now I'm going to go ahead and rename this. Up here at the top left hand corner of my screen I click on Rename and I'll call this one content with stylized photos. And you can call this anything that makes sense to you. Just make sure that it's got its own unique name. Now, how are we going to customize this? On the Slide Master tab at the top of the screen, you have the Insert Placeholder button. But the Insert Placeholder button has a drop-down menu on it that allows you to say, I don't want a generic placeholder that could hold charts and tables and diagrams and other sorts of things. All I want in this placeholder is a picture. So I'll click on the Picture option right here. And now I'm left to draw a box wherever I want that picture to go. Now, if you think about it, I'm probably going to reshape this pretty significantly. So really any size box is fine. I'm just gonna draw that box right there. Because now that I have this picture placeholder selected, using the Format tab at the top of my screen, I can choose the Edit Shape drop-down menu and change the shape out for something else entirely. So let's say that I want a couple of strips of photos in the bottom right hand corner of this slide. If I go to change shape, I can grab this uh, trapezoidal shape here under basic shapes. Call it a parallelogram, that's fine. And when I click on it, you can see here that I can use this yellow dot to reshape the parallelogram, maybe to this. And then I can sort of scale it up, maybe make it touch at the top and over here on the side. And it's kind of tough because it's not allowing me to see the actual shape itself until I'm reshaping it. There it goes. Good. 
and now I'll just sort of slide it over. Okay, so as you can see, when I'm moving this, you can see what the shape is that I'm going for. I want a strip of a photo across that bottom right-hand corner there, like so. And I'm just making sure that both ends sort of slide off of the page. And then I can even duplicate that using Control D, and I can move that second strip farther down here maybe. Maybe overlap, maybe don't overlap. There, maybe that'll be good. Now I've created a layout that has these two image layouts right here in the bottom right hand corner that aren't rectangles but are something else unique and uh, interesting. What I'll do is I'll click on close master view here and now when I go to make a new slide you'll notice I have title and content as a slide type but I also have content with stylized photos as an opportunity. I'm going to click on that option and you can see that I can just click right here on the icon to grab whatever photo I want. Let's say a nice picture of some computers. And then click on this icon. And maybe grab a chart or something. And you can see there that now I've got these images cropped down to fit inside of this particular type of shape. In fact, I can go a step further. Once they're in these little boxes here, if I click onto the image itself and I click the crop button at the top of the screen, you'll notice that you can see the photo in there and you can slide that photo around until it matches up with what you're looking for. So maybe I want that strip right there and then deselect the crop button. And then again, I can click on this image, click on the crop button, and I can slide this around until the part of the picture I want is front and center. There we go. And then deselect the crop button. And just like that, when I go in and look at this slide, I can see that stylized diagonal photo in the bottom right hand corner, as opposed to my standard rectangular photo options. <laughs>